Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. In this video, I'm going to take a look at how did Warcraft Rumble do in August 2024. The video is a couple of days late because I was so trying to get that Ragnaros kill because they stealth buffed Ragnaros for the Molten Core raid, but that was that was hard to do with low levels. Anyway, how did Rumble do in August? On iOS, they had 20,000 downloads and 600,000 in revenue. Revenue a little bit down, downloads the same. And on Android, they had 30,000 downloads, up by 10,000 and 600,000 in revenue, revenue remaining the same. So for a total of 50,000 downloads and 1.2 million in revenue for August. And looking at Warcraft Rumble's downloads per month, we can see that this was not the worst month so far. July was the worst month in July, only 40,000 people, only 40,000 new people downloaded Rumble, and in August 50,000 new people or new Google or iOS accounts downloaded Rumble. So yeah, there were a bunch of issues with Rumble during August, which forced many people to reinstall the game. This does not count those reinstalls unless you also created a new Google or iOS account in order to reinstall the game, but why would you do that? So you probably didn't. So these are actual new players. And yeah, the number of new players seems to have stabilized a little bit, but obviously this is not the kind of level Blizzard is aiming for for any Blizzard game, really. I mean, Hearthstone gets like 100,000, 200,000 new accounts every month. Successful mobile games get a million, two million more new accounts every month. So 50,000, definitely not, not Blizzard's goal, but that is the level that Rumble has currently been at. As for revenue, Rumble has managed to stay above that 1 million per month line. I'm not sure if that really matters because I don't think 1 million per month is going to be enough for Rumble. Its worst month so far was May, when it fell down to exactly 1 million. Then it rose up again in June to 1.5 million with the introduction of various bundles. And then now that the lure of these Azeroth's blessings and stuff like this is slowly waning, then revenue is going downwards again slowly. So from 1.5 to 1.4 and now 1.2 million. And looking at successful mobile games, strategy games in August 2024, obviously Warcraft Rumble's 1.2 million is not very good because there's that tier one, the top tier games that are making in several tens of millions. In case of Last War Survival, even a game that broke the 100 million a month barrier, Last War Survival made 104 million dollars in August. Just mind boggling money, but 10 million, 20 million, that's that's like a really good strategy game. And then there's a whole bunch of these games that are around that 7 million, 6 million, 5 million or 4 million mark. There's going to be a whole bunch of other games that are at around that 4 million. And also games that are pretty recognized, like Star Trek Fleet Command at 4 million, Marvel Snap at 5 million, for example. So that would be kind of a level where you have a fairly successful game. But Rumble's 1.2 million, it's a little bit short of that. If you make 5 million a month, then that means that the game makes 60 million a year. 60 million a year is a fine game. I mean, Hearthstone doesn't necessarily make a whole lot more than that either. So that would definitely be a kind of game that Blizzard would be interested in keeping around as well for the long term. But yeah, Rumble needs to do a little bit of something still. And what Rumble needs hasn't really changed from last month because there's still revenue, there's still downloads, but the downloads are not, not in line with the revenue at all, which means that the existing player base has to be buying a lot of stuff because that money has to come from somewhere and it's not coming from that number of new players. So Rumble needs new players. They need to find some new players. How do they find new players? Still, my number one tip for Rumble would be to add a PC client because Rumble is a great game for people who used to play World of Warcraft but don't have time for that anymore and there are tens of millions of people like that. And that would be like a good potential target audience for Rumble. But yeah, no PC client. Rumble has done some marketing efforts though. In the summer they sponsored the Games Done Quick tournament that didn't show any kind of improvement in the download numbers. And now they actually have a new sponsor campaign up and coming. Started on Sunday, Rumble and Pure Kick, so they're sponsoring energy drinks right now. From 1st of September until 31st of December, see, the campaign is running all the way through the end of the year. Rumble continuation guaranteed. Um, of course, this product, I looked at Pure Kick website, I looked at Amazon and it's not yet available. 
<laughs> I mean, I do, I do find the delightful irony in that that Rumble is sponsoring a product that should be available, but you actually can't get it anywhere yet. You might be able to find it in dollar stores. The sponsorship anyway is US only. No one else from outside the US can can redeem these or anything. So I also don't know what the free content is going to be with this purchase. They don't tell it anywhere. So yeah, anyway, this is Rumble's marketing. I would have wagered something like Twitch or something, some kind of ads, but yeah, energy drinks. Maybe. Who knows? I'll keep an eye on the download numbers and see if this now causes the download numbers to go up. We'll see next month. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.